स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लर्निंग हब सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पार्ट फिफ्थ दैट इज मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ अवर चैप्टर थर्ड ऑफ बायोलॉजी क्लास टेंथ दैट इज हाउ डू ऑर्गेनिजम्स रिप्रोड्यूस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स द सिस्टम ऑफ ऑर्गन्स डेट प्रोड्यूस पम्प्स एंड टेक दैम नियर द साइट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन इज द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सिस्टम सो देर आर एट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अवर सिस्टम टेस्टिस विद वन पेयर वेस्टाफ्रेंशिया विद ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन पेयर्स एपेडिडाइमिस विद वन पेयर Vesa differentia with one pair, seminal vesicles with one pair, urinogenital, prostate gland, and penis. So now let's discuss them turn wise. Firstly, let's start discussing about testis. So testis lies outside the body into two chambered pouch of loose skin called scrotum. it lies behind penis in between the two thighs it maintains a slightly low temperature that is 34 to 35 degrees celsius lower than that of body 37 degrees celsius it has 200 to 300 lobules with each lobule having 1 to 2 semiferous tubules embedded in a connective tissue connective tissue of testis or you can say of male reproductive system is leydig cells leydig cells separate male hormones testosterone is the male sex hormone testosterone regulates spermogenesis and express the male sex characters now let's move ahead to our second component that is vesa afferentia friends the 12 to 14 pairs of fine tubules which drain out freshly to form sperm by currently created ciliated cells is the vesa afferentia now the third component is epididymis so two 4 to 6 meter long tubules which lie along with base side and head of testis is epididymis it store and take care of sperm the unejaculated sperms degenerate and are reabsorbed ultimately by epididymis now the fourth component is vesa differentia friends a pair of 30 to 35 cm long molecular tubes is vesa differentia it arises from epididymis it come out of scrotum through inguinal canal and enters abdomen it also receives a duct from seminal vesicle it forms an ejaculatory duct so now let's come to our sub topic that is urinogenital duct friends this duct is formed by joining of ejaculatory ducts with urethra in the interior of prostate gland it receives a secretion from prostate gland and cowper's gland it passes into penis to open at its tip now the fifth component is seminal vesicle friends a pair of lobulated racemous glands present between urinary bladder and rectum is the seminal vesicle it produce viscous alkaline secretion rich in fructose proteins prostaglandins and fibrogen it also secretes 50 to 60% of total seminal plasma now the sixth component is prostate gland prostate is the large pyramidal gland that lies in the area of union of urethra and ejaculatory ducts the secretion of this gland is alkaline viscous and milky substance 
इट ओपन इन टू यूरिनोजेनिशियल डक्ट बाय थर्टी टू फोर्टी ट्यूब्यूल्स द सिक्रेशन इज असेंशियल फॉर मोर्टिलिटी ऑफ पाम इट कंस्टिट्यूट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ सीमेंट प्लाज्मा एंड इट्स मसल्स प्रोवाइड फोर्स फॉर इजैक्यूलेशन नाउ द सेवेंथ कंपोनेंट इज काउपर्स ग्लैंड अ पेयर ऑफ स्मॉल ग्लैंड डेट ओपन इन टू यूरिनोजेनिशियल डक्ट इज काउपर्स ग्लैंड इट्स सिक्रेशन इज एल्कलाइन एंड रिच इन म्यूकस इट लिब्रेट्स द जेनिशियल ट्रैक्ट एंड न्यूट्रलाइज द एसिडिटी नाउ अवर लास्ट कंपोनेंट इज पेनिस so the erectile male copulatory organ is penis it is covered by a fold of skin called prepuce internally it con- contains three columns of spongy tissues which get filled with blood at the time of erection so this is all about the eight components of the male reproductive system now let's move ahead moving ahead there are two topics that are semen and sperm so now let's discuss about them firstly let's discuss about semen so semen is the milky white alkaline sperm containing viscous fluid that is passed out by male during orgasm its amount is 2.5 to 4.0 ml it contains 300 to 400 million sperms it also contains fructose fibrogen prostaglandins and alkaline chemicals so this is all about semen now let's move ahead to our last sub topic that is sperm friends sperm is the male gamete that is dot like which is present in the male reproductive system now let's discuss about the diagram of sperm so here's the diagram of sperm at the top part means the top oval is the head of sperm it contains acromo acrosome and nucleus at the middle there is a square piece which is known as middle piece it contains mitochondria and at last there is a tail of sperm so this is all about this lecture thanks for watching and bye bye